Clive lives a life deep in the country, isolated from his past in a way. Um, he's in a house that he never lived in before, and he has very few visitors now that he's no longer in London. Um, but in fact, this suits him really well because he requires a constant environment and he finds people, anyone who doesn't know how properly to talk to him could very easily make him ill at ease because just the most simple phrase like, good morning, Clive, how are you, contains about four big errors. First, a complete stranger, because everyone is a complete stranger other than close family and very old friends. So a complete stranger has just addressed him by his first name, Clive. Second, how are you? How does he know how he is? He's just woken up. It's as if he's just woken up. He has no idea how he is or where he is or what to answer. So immediately he's thrown by, hello, Clive, how are you? So you see, um, the people who are around him have had to be sensitive to his perception of them and his perception of his existence. He has, I would say, in a strange way, he has got used to this existence. And he's made it very clear that he has a sense of time passing. He has a sense at some level of knowing uh, what's going on because of the way he will abbreviate questions. When, for the first seven or eight years, he used to repeatedly ask me, how long have I been ill? How long have I been ill? That became condensed and condensed, as he said it faster and faster. How long have I been ill? How long have I been ill? How long have I been Because it was such an urgent question, and also he knew I knew what the question was. And then it would just be, how long? It became abbreviated. That it, it's the same way as the vanishing cues technique of helping a, an amnesic person relearn. Um, he showed that he did have knowledge of having asked the question before. And if you asked him to guess the answer, he usually guessed the correct answer. He no longer asks those things. The urgent questions and the repetitive loop conversation have subsided. And he's um, gotten used to the place he lives in, the staff around him, even though he doesn't know, if you say to him, where's the kitchen, he'll say, I don't know. If you say, Clive, can you go and make a cup of tea? He walks to the kitchen, opens the right cupboards and makes a cup of tea. So he, he has learned things and he, ha he, is, at, he is at ease uh, in this setting. The fact that Clive is now isolated from his previous life completely um, is not unmitigatingly bad because um, he lives, um, amnesia is a state of suspended an, a, animation for him. Uh, he is in a kind of limbo. And to, if you are busy being in limbo, you don't actually want to go out to the movies and have friends around for supper. Uh, so living quietly in the country with a few nice nurses bringing you cups of coffee suits him fine. Um, our time together is now much better than it used to be. He doesn't repeat himself so much. He's not so angry. So we can enjoy the conversations we have on the phone or in person um, because we can have meaningful conversations, and that is an enormous plus uh, and improvement on, on things. He misses me uh, very much. If you, you only have to look at his diary. And every line, it says, please come, darling, please come, darling, in quite a frenzied handwriting. So you would think that there was, a, there was a terrible underlying anguish there, and perhaps there is. But uh, on the whole, what he presents to me is quite a philosophical acceptance that I have to be elsewhere. I have to be doing things. He knows I'm at work. I mean, just this morning, he looked at the clock at half past eight, in the morning, and he said to me, good heavens, you must have been up at the crack of dawn to get here by now, which tells you that he knows that I'm not from around here, that I must have had to make a journey to get to him. He knows that, you see, but he won't present that as information, but he'll, he will uh, indicate 
that he, he knows certain things. And whenever I leave, uh, he says, of course you must go and, you know, you must, you must drive, get, get back before it gets dark and that sort of thing. So, um, you know, he works. <laughs>